giving is linked with covenant, which is linked with love. And there's this joy in giving that sets our future in motion. Now remember that. If you are a little lost or at a stalemate, giving by His Spirit is going to set things in motion for you. It's amazing what happens. Now, something else. And he was talking about it today. We have got to get into a place where we are in a different dimension of watchmen. I call it lookout intercession. And we're having to be able to see around the side of the building before we go around it. Now, that should apply real easy up here in New Jersey where you want to know what's around on the other side of the building before you step around it and get knocked in the head. That's the type of intercession we're coming into. It's not praying about something you want to see happen. It's about saying, I already see what is there, and the Lord's saying, you're going to take it out before you ever get there. So we're getting really interesting. And one of the things I see you guys are doing here in in, uh, this movement that's going on from the 13 colonies is paths that grew back up, you're clearing them out again. Because, you know, we had lots of land and we would clear entire fields and entire paths. Forty years later, the Lord uh, sent us back to the land finally opened it up for us to go back to the land that we had to leave. It was so grown up, you would have never known the effort that had been put in on it. Now, we're talking about hundreds of acres grown up, and there were fields cleared and paths all over that land. And that's what iniquity does. And I felt like last night, that was really one, another one of the reasons I could see this so clearly, was the Lord says, I'm getting ready to unlock the roots, and when the roots start moving up, you're going to see the paths that you need to take. The root becomes a route, and then you will route the enemy. I'm adding to it what John said, which I agree with. Now, and one thing I have done is go back to the early church over and over and watch and look at the instruction to that early church and then see how they didn't do it. If you'll hear what the Spirit is saying, you will overcome. Not a one of them overcame. And so then the Lord tells John, come up here. Come up here. I want to share this with you and then I'm going to, I want to pray over So There's one other thing I need to share with you. Come up here. Uh... And I'm going to show you things to come. This is where I really see we are starting now. We're coming up here. We're coming up to a place to look beyond anything we have seen built in the past. And it's all right to just do everything you know to do. But know this you're going to be shown new pieces to add to your family house. You're going to be shown new pieces on how to add to your corporate gatherings. You're going to be shown new pieces on how to affect the territory. You're going to be shown an expansion of your sphere of authority. And so... He told John, he said, now come up here. And John heard the sound of that shofar. Now, whoever's got a shofar, I want you to just stand up right now, wherever you are, and loose the sound. 
the sound of the shofar. He said, I heard a sound like a trumpet. And all of a sudden, things started unfolding to let him see us today. Now that's what happened. All of a sudden, that sound in a moment went forward. And it unfolded the generations to come. John saw us. He saw this triumphant people that would arise today. 